it, it, it will be all that audiences get to see of this. And um, if the film gets made, hopefully it's because the documentary... In Angelica. the Angelica Film Center. I'm Alison Bales for IFC and we'll be looking at the sad fate of Sonny, Nicolas Cage's directorial debut later in the show. First, an excellent new documentary from IFC Films called Lost in La Mancha. This documents the passionate yet failed attempts of director Terry Gilliam to bring the legend of Don Quixote to the big screen. A project close to his heart, the film was to have starred Johnny Depp, but this ambitious quest proved to be just an impossible dream. Scene one, take two. Action Crane! It's Terry's sort of film, and it mixes all his humor and his fun and his darkness. Ow! This has been bugging me for a long time, and Coyote has been, you know, dogging me. The first time we started this, trying to get Coyote on the page is around 91. The Quixote is, 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 I think, has obsessed me for years because all of my stuff has been about reality, fantasy, madness, sanity, and Quixote encompasses all of those. I just like challenges. I mean, why do people climb mountains? Why do people do whatever they do that's difficult? Because it is difficult. And I, and I, it's, it's really a, the extension of my whole idea about life and, and uh, world view. We're, I mean, I, we're constantly told that life is this. And I don't want to be limited by that. I want to say it can be that. <laughs> The challenges of filming Don Quixote included condensing a vast, nearly 400-year-old book into a two-hour cinematic vision without Hollywood money. We rig this thing so the camera can do right there. Because looking down will be amazing. But it's important to believe in things that are worth believing in, not just make movies for money. That's easy. Not just to make it for careers, but to make something you're actually hoping that you're opening the eyes of the world. I mean, that's my job, to say there's another world out there. <laughs> I've got an actor. I have an actor. Roll camera! Gilliam cast Johnny Depp, with whom he had worked on Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and Jean Rochefort as the aging Don Quixote. He hired two documentarians to capture the venture on tape. We had made a film with Terry Gilliam before, a film called The Hamster Factor, about six years ago. Um, so he was, Terry, you know, is already a friend of ours, and he knows our work very well, and he basically, um, he makes it much easier for other people to accept our presence, you know, because he knows, they know that he trusts us, and that helps a lot in terms of making people comfortable. Cut, cut, cut. What's going on? They had total access. Uh, I wore a microphone the whole time. Everybody involved in it were, I don't know if they were happy having him around all the time, but because I said it was okay, it was okay. And and they just kept shooting. A very strange way to today. There's a large bunch of lightning about to hit us. Do you feel bad though that you, you were sort of there documenting all, the, all these disasters? Well, initially we thought, okay, these are all conflicts on the way to a triumphant ending. And when it became apparent that they weren't on the way to a triumphant ending, we had a major ethical crisis. And we went to Terry and we said, this, it doesn't feel right. This feels very exploitative. It does not feel ethical. And Terry was the one who said, screw ethics, you know. I've worked for 10 years through so much misery to try and make this movie. Someone has to get a film out of it, and it doesn't look like it's going to be me, so it better be you. It isn't the F-16s, it's thunder. Yes! I guess I am able to fool people, because that seems to be my job as a director, to say, yeah, we're marching on, we're halfway up the mountain, it's going great, <laughs> and it's all collapsing around. That's my job, to maintain that illusion that everything is going forward. And, uh, and that's why Keith and Lou, I didn't believe it was falling apart as rapidly and disastrously as it was. <laughs> Getting violent. This film is in complete disarray. Lost in La Mancha now is the only record that exists of this attempt to make the film. And if the film never gets made, it, it will be all that audiences get to see of this. And um, if the film gets made, hopefully it's because the documentary inspired some 
wealthy person to give him a bunch of money to make the movie. There's the trailer for the film right there, coming soon. <laughs> and cut it. This is no way to make a film. Well, luck does play a large part in making it in movies. An Irish actor, Colin Farrell, has had his...